Hi, my loves, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a Kelly comparison video. It is my most requested comparison video and I will be comparing the 25 versus the 28 and the Cellier versus the Retourne. If you are new to my channel, hello, I am Mel. I would love for you to join my family. So just hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell so you are part of my notification squad, which is family. So this video is going to be super in-depth. This is everything that you need to know if you've been wondering what size should I potentially add to my collection. So I'm gonna be dividing this video into five parts and I'll put the timestamps in the description bar below. So first up, I'm gonna go through the details of all my bags and tell you about them, like the material, the size, the construction. Secondly, which is a very important topic, I'm gonna to tell you the difference between the Cellier versus the Retourne. Third, I'm gonna show you what fits inside each of the bags. Fourth, mod shots, super important. And fifth, I'm gonna do a summary of the pros and cons and my final recommendations. So let's get started with number one. Okay, let's start off with the details of each of my bags. So I own two Kelly 25s and I own three Kelly size 28s. And it's important to go through the details because it does make a difference you know, the materials, the construction. So let's start off with my 25s first. And this is Kelly size 25. And the construction is retourne. The leather is swift leather. And my other 25 is in the Cellier. So the one that looks more formal looking. And this is blue onk. And the leather of this is Epsom. For my 28s, this is my Gris Pearl Kelly Construction Retourne, and this is in the leather Evercolor. Secondly, which is my newest beauty, this is another 28, also in the Construction Retourne, and the material is Clemence. And finally, my third Kelly 28, this is in black Epsom leather, and this is the Cellier construction. Okay, so let's start off with the Kelly 25s. And it's called the Kelly 25 because it's supposed to measure 25 centimeters across. So let's measure the Retourne. And I've got my measuring tape and it measures 23, maybe just over 23 centimeters across or the length. And then let's try the Cellier. And it pretty much measures exactly 25 centimeters across. So if I put them next to each other, you can see that the Cellier looks bigger than the Retourne, and you saw that in measurements. And even in height, let's have a look at the height. Actually, this is probably better with height. I would say the Cellier is just a touch taller. And let's just do the same thing with the 28s. And we just quickly measure the Retourne, and the Retourne measures, 27 and a half centimeters across. So here to here, 27 and a half centimeters. And then let's measure the cellier. And the cellier is 28.5 centimeters. How interesting. So the reason that there are slight differences in measurement, as you guys may know, that all these bags are handmade. No two are exactly the same, and that's the beauty of it as well. So again, Cellier definitely looks bigger than the Retine in both the 25 and the 28 centimeter Kellys. So I thought it'd be really interesting to weigh each of the bags. Now look, these two Kellys are not the bigger size Kellys. So, you know, I haven't found a problem with the weight of them, but leather does play a part in how heavy the bag should be. So let's weigh each one. So how interesting was that? If you look at the 25s, like Epsom and Swift are light leathers. I knew that, but I didn't think that they would be like about a hundred gram difference. So Swift is actually, 
you know, like 20% lighter than the Epsom. They're both light. I mean, we're talking about five, 600 grams, but that was quite interesting. And in terms of the 28s, as I thought, I knew Clemence was going to be the heaviest leather and it was. And I actually thought that Epsom would be the lightest, but Evercolor was just a few grams lighter. But I would say Evercolor and Epsom are about the same, but it was interesting to see that Evercolor came up the lightest. Now with all of these bags, if you're wondering where the straps are, I've put them inside the bag. So this is the Kelly's with the straps, no inserts, nothing else in the bag. So the true weight of each of the Kelly's. So I've brought you up close and personal because in this segment, we are going to be discussing the construction of the Kellys. So the Cellier versus the Retourne. So first off, a lot of people ask me, well, how can you immediately tell the difference between the two? And this is how I tell the difference. So if you think S for Cellier, S for stitching because you can see the stitching on the sides. Can you see that? That's all, you can see the visible stitching. And retourne, R, and reverse. Retourne actually means reversed in French. So as you can see on the retourne style, you can't see the stitching, you actually see piping because when the bag is made, it's actually made inside out and then flipped. So cellier, stitching. Retourne reversed. So another quick way of looking at it, cellier looks more stiff and retourne looks more relaxed. In terms of the cellier, you can see that it has a much more sort of formal appearance. It's more clean, it's crisp, is more structured looking, it's sort of more sleek in my opinion. And out of the two, you know, I would say this one is a bit more formal. It's probably a little bit more uh, dressier. I love this trapezoid shape. I love that it's a bit more architectural looking um, and it's definitely much more of a structured bag. So visually you can see that straight off. So as you can see from the Retourne, it definitely has a more relaxed feel. It's a bit more laid back, chilled, sort of casual vibe, I would say. And because the edges are more rounded, it's not as stiff, it definitely has more flexibility than the Cellier. So let me just give you a 360 of both the bags. If you look immediately on the side, you can see that you can see the piping on the retourne and the cellier, you see glazed edges. The back looks the same. They both have four feet, but definitely the sides, you can see there is a big difference. So when I open the bags up, because the cellier is more structured, in terms of the leathers that they use for the cellier, the most common leathers that you will see a cellier made in is Epsom. I would probably say that's number one. And you see it in, yeah, sort of more stiff and rigid leathers. So like Tadillac or Box or even Sombrero. And that is because it lends itself you know, to the structured nature of the cellier. So you actually can get the cellier made in Togo or Chev, but usually those are more special orders. Um, they don't really make them, or if they have, it's, you know, pretty rare. And then if you move on to the Retourne, the most common leathers are, you know, more so softer leathers. Because if you think about it, when they make this bag, they've got to turn it inside out. So they tend to choose leathers that are softer. So most commonly it's made in Swift, like my Pink Sakura here, or Togo, Clemence, uh, Evercolor. Now you can get a Kelly made, a Retourne Kelly in Epsom, but likewise, you don't see that as often as well. So if I actually open the bags up and the cellier, let me just show you, it is, it doesn't have as much give. Like you can open it up, but it's a little bit harder. Whereas in, on the retourne, it's much easier. You can see this opens up a lot more than say this. It's a bit more stiff, can you see? And then likewise, if I turn it towards the side, it's definitely more stiff than the retourne, which you can see, I can stretch out a lot more. 
And therefore, sometimes when people have retournees, you can actually wing it out. See how you can do this, the sides? And then when you do it up, it does give you more room. And that is why, see how it's winged out, it's a bit more relaxed. Uh, it kind of is like the Birkin where you can wing it out too, because the Birkin construction is the retourne, though recently they did make a cellier version. But can you see, because of the sides, more flexibility, you can wing it out. That looks really, really cute. But with the cellier, you can't really, see, I'm just trying to stretch it out. You can't really wing it out wing it out. So another really important thing to mention is for the cellier construction, it actually features an additional layer. So besides the outside leather and then the inside lining, which is normally in chev or goat skin leather, uh, in the inside there's a an additional layer, whereas in, in the retonne there isn't. And that's why with this additional layer in the cellier, you know, it helps the bag keep its more sort of boxy shape. And if you turn the bag to the side, on the cellier, can you see the fold along the side here? This is pre-folded, whereas in on the retine, it's not. So the cellier side always looks like this. Whereas in, in the retine, it depends on how much, like if you have the bag winged out like this, or just say I pull the sides in, you will see that the sides change depending on, you know, how much you feel the bag. So this is not pre-folded and this is pre-folded. So because of the additional layer, which is in the cellier, and also because, as I mentioned before, cellier, you know, stitching, cellier looks more structured, you will find that in terms of cost, the cellier does cost a bit more than the retourne because in terms of craftsmanship, you know, because you can see the stitching, which is all hand done, they do need to take extra care. Now, look, both of the bags take a long time to make, approximately, you know, 18 to 24 hours. And did you know just the handle in itself, this is one of the most difficult parts to make on the Kelly. It takes probably about four hours for just the handle alone. But yes, if you've been wondering, why is the cilia always more expensive than the Retin-A? It just takes that bit longer to make. And because the cellier is more structured, it's more boxier, it holds its shape. Like this bag is not gonna sag. As I said, that's why they tend to choose the more rigid leathers because it looks rigid, it's structured, it's not gonna lose its shape. Whereas in with the Retourne, uh, generally speaking, it will slouch over time. Like on the 25s, probably not as much so, so because it's a smaller type of bag, but especially when you get to the bigger sizes, say the 32 and the 35, there's a huge difference between the Cellier and the Retourne. So that's why it's really important to actually store them correctly. So I've shown you my 25s, just quickly, all these points actually apply to the 28, but just to show you some more eye candy, this is my 28 Cellier and my 28 uh, Retourne. So as you can see, immediately same thing, more structured Cellier, more structured Retourne, more relaxed. And you can already see in this Kelly that, you know, it has a bit more of a slouch, especially with Clemence, you are going to see it slouch over time. When you look at it along the side view as well, I mean, this is my newer, so it hasn't slouched, you know, that much. But this, you know, the Cellier stands perfectly straight. And then you can see even with the Retourne that, you know, it's not perfectly straight. It's already leaning forward a little bit. That is not a fault, by the way. It's just that, you know, it's more of a relaxed shape. So construction-wise, Cellier, definitely stiffer. It looks that tad bigger, but it's, you know, as I showed before, it's harder to access because it is stiffer and it's got that pre-folded side. With the Retin-A, it's definitely much easier to access. Um, it has the extra flexibility because, you know, you can wing the sides out as well. And another thing just to point out if you were wondering which one you want to get as well, because with the Retin-A you can see the piping and the cellias, the stitching, a lot of people do like when they are offered uh, for a special order, you know, think about it with the piping, you can kind of have a little bit more fun with your special orders because you can pick a different contrast piping 
but with the cellier you can't. But yeah, that is the main differences between the cellier and the retourné construction on the Kellys. So just a quick fun fact about the Kelly bag. Did you know that the retourné is actually the original uh, construction of the Kelly and not the Celia. Some people believe it was the Celia, but it's actually the Retiné. I think the Celia came pretty soon after, but I found this information out from Marianne. And as you know, she is an Hermes connoisseur. She showed me like a catalog from the early 1950s, which actually shows that the Kelly was originally named Sacamonde Voyage. Anyway, she told me this is the original construction, the retine. So I thought that was just really interesting. So what fits in the Kelly 25 and the 28? Now, before I show you some items and what fits in, I always use seven RP inserts. You guys know that I do and it's really important to protect the inside of your bag because as you know, Hermes does not spa the inside of your bag. And especially with shapes like the Retonne, which I said before, that it tends to slouch over time. To help maintain the structure of the bag, an insert is very important. Now, the reason why I love 7RP inserts so much is people would actually think, okay, both of these are size 28 ml. Shouldn't the inserts be the same size? And the answer is, no, because the construction of them is very different. As you can see, this is the cellier insert and this is the retina insert. You can tell immediately the cellier insert is slightly smaller and shorter. And the reason because of that is that the cellier actually, though it appears larger, it actually holds less and the retina holds more. So remember how when I turn the bags to the side, I told you that this is pre-folded. So the insert actually reflects that. So when this insert, each of 7RP inserts are specifically made for each bag. So when this insert is put in, it does not affect this side, but see how it sits just underneath? Whereas in, because the Retin-A has much more flexibility, it can be higher as you can see, because it doesn't have this pre-folded edge. And that is why you see that the inserts differ slightly in size. Okay, let's start off with what fits in a Kelly size 28, and this is in the Retin-A. So of course I'm using my 7RP inserts. This is actually the front of the insert with uh, this little tab at the front. Now, just before I get started to show you what can fit inside, uh, if you were interested in the 7RP inserts, by the way, this video is not sponsored by 7RP, but they did gift me the inserts. My code has been extended, my exclusive code, which is MIM40, and that entitles you to 40 euros off any insert. So they do inserts for Kelly's, Birkins, Evelyn, your book tote. So I will start off with what fits in the Kelly uh, Retin-A and I'll see what has to be left out when I go down to the 28 Cellier. So I've got a whole bunch of items with me and let's see what can fit. So I've got my Kelly mini pochette which I use just as a catch-all usually with makeup and bits and pieces in there and then I've got my iPhone 11 Pro Max and then I've got my Bastia, go in there. And then I've got some hand sanitizer. I've got my Chanel card case, which doubles up as a wallet. This is the lippy I'm wearing today. I love uh, Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. My Mont Blanc pen. And I have got some mints, which I've put here, some, this is my LV key pouch, what else? So this is my little thankful journal that will fit in there, car keys, I'll put it in here, and some AirPods, I think that is pretty much really packed. You don't want to overstuff your Birkins or Kellys as well. So I think that is very packed. So if I get my Kelly and let me just open it up. 
put it inside. Okay, so you will see that that fits in perfectly and even at the top you can put sunglasses in a soft case. So I'll put that up as well. Let me just do it up and see if everything closes up okay. Okay, so as you can see there's no bulges. That's the front, that's the side and that is the back of the bag. So yes, you definitely don't want it too bulgy. So that's what fits in a Kelly 28 Retin-A. So I've just got the Kelly Cellier 28. This is both in size 28. And as I've said, the Kelly Cellier, even though it looks bigger, actually holds less. And that's why there's a difference between the insert size. So let me just quickly transfer it and see what has to be left out. Okay, I wouldn't pack it any more than that. And what I've left out is my thankful journal because yeah, it's going to, you don't want to, I probably could squeeze it in, but you don't want to overpack it. Otherwise it won't be good for your bag. So that is the only thing that I've left out. And I'll grab my Kelly 28 Cellier and put it inside. So there you go. You can see that everything fits in there perfectly. Let me close it up to see that it fits fine. Yes, it's easily be closed. And that's the front of the bag, the side, the back. So yes, that is what fits in a Kelly 28 Cellier. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So this is the Kelly 28 Cellier and this insert here is my blush insert and this is for my Kelly 25 Retin-A. And let's see what I have to leave out. Obviously the 28s are gonna hold more than the 25s, but I thought this was the best way just to go down by size and see what I have to leave out. So let's try it. Okay, so what I've left out of here is my AirPods and my hand sanitizer. So those two. So I'm going to try it now in my Kelly 25 and see if it's too bulgy because I don't want to overpack it. So let's try it now. Okay, I've got my Kelly 25 Retin-A. So you can see it's much easier to open. I will put this inside. Have a look. So that fits fine. As you can see, still a little bit of room on the sides. And let's see if sunglasses in a soft case can be put on top. Let's try it. Yes, I can do it up. So the Retin A definitely has more give. So that is the front. So this is at max capacity. I wouldn't, you know, stuff it any more than this because it's important not to overstuff your bag. So that's the front. That's the side, that's the back, and that's the side. So yeah, max, max capacity. That's what fits in a Kelly 25 retin -A. So let's do the same thing, and I've got my insert for the Kelly 25 Cellier. And again, the Cellier insert is smaller than the retin -A. Of course, we know that the 28s fit more than the 25s, but we do know that the cilia fits a little bit less than the Retin-A. So let's do the same exercise. Oh, I do need to point out the configuration on this one. I have an older one. It's a little bit different to the current one. The current one does have the two slots here. Anyway, let's see what I have to leave out. Okay, so what I've left out is my mini pochette. As you can see, because it's smaller, you know, you wouldn't want to overstuff it any more than that. You probably could fit, you know, something small in there, but just nothing as big as the, you know, mini pochette. So if I grab my Kelly 25 Cellier, I'm going to open it up and put it in. See, a little bit harder to open up, but still fine. Okay, so that's what it looks like, what fits inside. And again, I'm going to put sunglasses in a soft case because I think that will fit. And let's do it up. Yep, that fits. So 
that's what it looks like from the front, side, back. Yeah, so that's what fits in a Kelly 25 Cellier. So in summary, this is my 25 Cellier, 25 uh, Retourne, 28 Cellier, and 28 Retourne. So obviously everything here fits into the Kelly 28 Retourne, but what I had to leave out was this. When I transferred all this into this, I had to leave this out. And from here to here, I had to leave these two out. And then from here to here, I had to leave my book out. So that is a quick summary for you. That is what fits in the Kelly 28's Retourne and Cellier and the 25's Retourne and Cellier. So for reference, I am 164 centimeters tall, approximately 5'4 and a half. Now, I thought it would be really helpful to do a side-by-side -side comparison of not just the 25 versus 28, but the 25 in the Retin-A, in the Cellier, then in the size 28 in the Retin-A and in the Cellier. So the first way I'm wearing it is on the crook of my arm. I love wearing it this way. It is so ladylike. And as you can see, both sizes look great worn this way. And I've also just done a side on profile shot so you can visually see the difference between the size 25 and the size 28 in both constructions. And finally, the main advantage of the Kelly is that it has the shoulder strap. So again, this is just a side-by-side -side comparison where you can see the size 25 versus the 28 and the Retourne versus the Cellier. And I love wearing this way. As I mentioned before, I didn't do any pictures of it because I don't usually wear mine crossbody, but you can if you want to. So I hope that those stills really help you get an idea of what it looks like on my height and my frame. And finally, let's summarize the pros and cons. So I'm going to be summarizing the pros and cons of the 25 versus the 28 in terms of size, and also the pros and cons of a cellier, the construction of the cellier versus the retourne. So what are the pros of the size 25? As you saw from the what fits inside and also me modeling the bag, even though it is a small bag, it definitely fits all your essentials. I think with the 25 as well, it does transition from day to night a bit better, especially if you want to use it for more uh, formal events. Another thing is that if you did want to crossbody the 25, I personally don't, but you can add a longer shoulder strap or even use the original shoulder strap if you're petite enough. The 25 does look quite cute crossbody, the 28 not as much so. So if you're a real crossbody person, that is just another pro to the 25. And I think generally because the 25 is just a smaller bag, it probably, you know, you probably won't you know, bump into things as much as the 28, though I haven't found that I've bumped into things as much, but it's, it's a smaller bag, so I should mention that. So the only con I would say for this uh, size is that if you are a person that likes to carry a little bit more with them, it doesn't fit obviously as much as the 28. So that's the only con that I would say for the size 25. And what about the Kelly 28? Obviously the 28, fits more as you saw. And with the 28, I feel like it's the perfect sort of medium size sort of bag. I think this is a size that can work for anyone, petite, average height, really tall. It's just a really good size medium bag in my opinion. And in terms of the cons of the size 28, uh, there's only a couple I can think of. Obviously, if you're a person that doesn't carry much with you, you may find that you don't need the extra space or the extra weight because obviously it is heavier. Another con is if you're a person that likes to wear their bags crossbody, the 28 doesn't crossbody as well as the 25. 
And also, though I haven't personally found this to be the case, because it is a bigger bag, you know, you definitely, when you're wearing it on the shoulder, you definitely can bump into things a little bit more than the 25 because, you know, the 25 is a smaller bag. And so what about the pros and cons of the Retone versus the Cellier? So let's start off with the Retone. The Retone definitely has a more uh, casual vibe and you can fit more in the Retone. It costs a little bit less than the Cellier, if that is a consideration for you. And for the Retone, it's much easier to get your things in and out of than a Cellier. And I would say the main con of the Retine shape is that, you know, over time, and I'm talking about a long time, it will, you know, soften up and get more, you know, a bit more slouchier. So if you're a type of person that doesn't like that, then the Retine may not be for you. And what are the pros of the Cellier? The Cellier is going to maintain its shape. You know, I this bag is from 2017 and it looks exactly the same, you know, as the day I bought it. Uh, in saying that, Epson does soften up over time, but generally it's just going to stand nice and straight and structured. So if you're the type of person that loves a structured bag, you're going to prefer the Cellier. Another pro I would say of the Cellier is that I think it transitions from day to night more than the Retin-A, especially in the 25 size. You know, it looks really nice for formal occasions because, you know, it is a more formal looking bag. And the cons of the Cellier, I would say, is it's a bit harder to access than the Retin-A because, you know, it is more rigid. Also, even though it appears larger, you know, it holds a little bit less than the Retin-A. Also, if price is a factor for you, it's a little bit more expensive. So those are the pros and cons of the size 25 and the 28 and the Cellier versus the Retin-A. So in saying all that, which one should I pick, Mel? Should I pick the Retin-A or should I pick the Cellier or, you know, should I go for the 25 or should I go for the 28? And honestly, guys, it really, really depends. You've heard all the pros, you've heard all the cons. You need to, you know, ask yourself, which one suits my lifestyle more? If you're the type of person that you're a bit more casual, uh, you might find that you like the Retin-A style better. Whereas if your style is a bit more dressier, you might find that you like the Cellier better. And then also the factor is how much do you carry? If you don't carry much at all, you might like, nah, the 25 fits everything that I need. I'm just gonna go for the 25 because I think it's so cute. You know, it suits me more than the 28. Likewise, if you carry a lot, you're like, mm, the 25 doesn't fit my needs. I'm going to prefer the 28. But honestly, both fit all your essentials. I don't honestly think you can go wrong with a Kelly. You know Melly loves Kellys. But, you know, if I had to pick, if you're saying, look, I am going, I'm only going to buy one Kelly and that is it, I think the style that probably that will win out a little bit more and universally may suit more people is the Kelly 28. In terms of construction wise, that is purely, you know, up to you in terms of aesthetics, but the size 28 is a perfect, you know, medium size for all sort of people if you're just going to get the one because it's not too big, it's not too small. Now, which one is your favorite, Mel? Now, this is really difficult because you might think, okay, uh, I prefer Retin-A's because I've got one, two, three Retin-A's in terms of constructions compared to the two Celliers. And my style is I am more dressy. So I actually prefer the Cellier construction just by a little bit because I just love the clean lines. I love structured bags. And saying that my uh, Retin-A's have not really slouched because I maintain them and store them with my inserts. So if you store your Kellys really well, they're not going to, you know, sag into like a puddle because sometimes you do see Birkins just sort of, they, they can't stand on their own. So that's why I said storage is really important. So what about size? What do I prefer, the 25 or the 28? Now for me, because hopefully I want to add more Kellys to my collection, it's not a huge consideration. For me personally more, it's, you know, the leathers and the colors and things like that that plays more of a factor. But I would say if you're a person that just wants to add one, probably the Kelly 28. But for me, I 
The next bag I want to add is actually a Cellier Kelly 25. So that's a hard one. I can definitely say I prefer Cellier over Retin-A, but 25 and 28 is very, very equal for me. And the factors for me is, is more color and leather and all that type of stuff. So hopefully from all this video, you have found it really informative. I did go really in depth because I want this to be a reference video for you guys. And you will be able to decide Oh, after that, I definitely know I want a Retin-A or I definitely know I want a Cellier. But honestly, as I said before, you can't go wrong with a Kelly. It's classic, it is beautiful, it is elegant, it is timeless. It is one of the only bags where if you buy it, it will definitely retain its value more often than not actually go up. So you can't go wrong buying a Kelly. It's my favorite bag. And don't forget to use my code if you were after an insert. As you saw, these inserts are the creme de la creme and the best for your Birkins or Kellys. I will leave my exclusive code in the description bar below. Um, thank you to 7RP for extending it a little bit for my amazing followers. And if you knew anyone that wasn't sure about you know, which one to add, the 25 or 28, to share this video with them. I think they will find it really helpful. So there you have it, guys. That is my in-depth comparison of the Kelly size 25 versus the 28, and also the Retin-A versus the Cellier. If you did like this video and my in-depth comparisons, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. I've actually done a whole playlist of really in-depth comparisons because you guys have said, you know, you find it so helpful. Please comment below. Which one would you pick? Are you a more, you know, 25 or 28 type of Kelly girl? Or are you a Retin-A or Cellier type of Kelly girl? Honestly, I think there is room for both in your collection, obviously, as you can see from mine. But I think that this video will definitely help you make up your mind if you weren't sure about which one to add. So thank you so much for watching. Big kisses, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.